know. I think there's quite a few. I think I've got quite a few questions on what we're counting as sport because I've seen somewhere that apparently fishing is a sport, that apparently chess is a sport, that apparently golf is a sport. What is going on? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say now the, the first two, fishing and chess, they're not sports at all. You're not doing anything. You're just fucking sat there. Just being like, why? Like, it's not, it's a, it, it's a game. It's not a sport. Sport is done with your body, surely. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It, it depends what the actual definition of sport is, because they, weren't they saying that bridge is a sport a few years ago? And weren't they saying that, like... Um, bridge? Bridge, you know, the card game. No. Okay. Ask any old person, right? <laughs> Literally on the street, be like, excuse me, what's bridge? And they're going to okay. be like, it's something that crosses another road or a mm. river. Or they're going to be like, it's my favourite card game. And if they say it's their favourite card game, which is 99% of the time, you go and you ask them what it is and they'll explain it to you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so anyway, point big, they've got um, old people talking about them, bowls. Mm. How is that a game? All they do is stand there like, eh. 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 Oh, Roger, he's <laughs> such a good score. Well done. Anyway, off to Dignitas. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Old people, anyone listening to this will come to murder us. Or me, no, anyway. No old people are listening to this, Dan. No people listen to this in the first place. <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> anyway, fuck old people. Um, oh. not, not literally. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you were into for a second. <laughs> I don't know, watching, oh, so playing other sports, maybe stuff like rounders, because I'm not sure I'm all up for sitting there watching my teammate, teammates play for about half hour and then me standing up, be like, oh yeah, it's my turn. Being thrown the ball, miss the ball, be like, oh fuck, I'm out. <laughs> and then go sit back down. Exactly, yeah. You never, ever get the big hits in. But rounders, rounders I do not consider to be a sport at all. Nobody plays it. Well, it's... it's but but when it comes what to what are you like, saying about cricket and baseball if you don't consider round as a sport? Uh, hmm. But there's their actual hmm. The way I <laughs> you didn't think this through, did you? I, I did. I didn't think that that statement through. No. I guess the way <laughs> I think of it is is the fact that there are people actually interested in watching it, in watching cricket somehow. Um, I've been to cricket games, and the only reason I was there to get was to get pissed with my mates. Yeah, isn't that what everyone does at cricket games? E exactly. Like I was there for a full day, and I barely watched the game. To be honest with you, the times I look forward to most most were lunch and tea. <laughs> but, <laughs> <fuck's sake. laughs> but um, yeah, like I. Hmm. I can't really justify my statement to be honest. I just don't. I just think because there are not people training for it professionally, no one plays professional rounders unless you consider baseball. Yeah, but there was professional rounders. cricket and baseball. Exactly. So I guess that's where I would consider it to be a sport, and there is a clear structure within cricket for competing in things. Like mm. there isn't a structure for competition for rounders like rounders is just a game you play in primary school and um, and like for that i would also consider ultimate frisbee to be a sport because there is a a kind of a competition structure to it even though no one in ultimate frisbee i think is professional but it's it's a sport because there is a a competition structure to it i guess and obviously it's physical as well yeah i just don't think there'll be enough demand to have like professional rounders can you imagine that people yeah. play cricket for a living in this country exactly. and then have rounders as well exactly. something would be going wrong exactly exactly you've, you've, you're playing for five days and then you've got someone saying that we're slating cricket have you seen um the t20 cricket oh yeah i love t20 
T20 is a different sport, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, the strategies are completely different. Like, my dad is a massive cricket nerd. So every time I mention cricket to him, he, he'll go on a massive rant about the differences and things. Can't be asked to get into that now. But I view T20 just as a piss up with my mates, basically. Like the last time I went to a T20 game, it was like, it was like, it was sort of like a more restrained football game because that, you know, people are chanting and well, I say people, me and my mates were pissed and chanting. Everyone else was like, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> yeah. So I, I really like T20, but like it, test match can be all right. It, it really depends who you're going with. Like I don't go solely to watch the cricket. I mm. go to watch the cricket and have a laugh with my mates. If I was yeah. just watching the cricket, I'd be so fucking bored. Whereas with uh, rugby or football, I would actually be there to watch the sport. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from. I think for me, what has actually been the difference with um, traditional cricket and T20 is that T20, they've actually tried to make entertaining. They've got like flames, they've got music, they've got, you know, those chants, like you say. They don't have that in traditional cricket. In traditional cricket, they flipping so sit dang. there. And it's the either the extreme fans who go to watch it, or it's the people who don't have jobs go watch it. No, it There's it's just no yeah. in between, is there? Exactly. It's, it's, it's rich white people with money, basically. Like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> no literally he, he has gone with clients to watch test match cricket and I'm like okay fair enough if that's how he bri well not bribes them but like convinces them to like him then fuck it why not so if they enjoy it then yeah if it gets some business yeah exactly but like and but he would also go and watch it seriously like he wouldn't be there for the chanting or, or hanging with your mates or anything he would be there for the cricket that's where I'm like, Ugh, your dad's a bit crazy. Yeah, he is a bit mental. That's where I get it from. 